Hi, Ryan here with AlarmSystemStore.com to show you on how to program your DSC Power Series 1616, 1832, or 1864 alarm system. So let's get right to it. Let's go to my table and let's program this system. Now you've got your system all wired up and it's ready to be programmed. A um, couple things that I like to do before I program any system is I make sure I have off our website in the knowledge base is a uh, quick start guide and uh, you click on knowledge base and then you click on the manufacturer and then uh, the system that you have and it'll pull up different documents. Um, for the systems we sell we do have a quick start guide and it basically dissects the installation manual. Um, for the 1832 um, since the new version 4.6 came in, um, our quick start guide kind of got expanded a little bit to about five or six pages. Just for the simple fact, our quick start guide covers versions 4.5 and older and uh, 4.6 and newer. Um, quick start guide. And also a blank piece of paper, um, which in this case I've already filled out a little bit. Um, on the paper, it's going to be easiest if you write down all your zones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, how many zones you have, what's on each zone, what it's for. This is a front door, my zone 2 is a motion, and then the zone definition and type that you plan on using. Um, there's uh, several different types of definitions. Um, O1, for example, is an entry exit door. Um, that will give me an entry exit delay. When I come and leave, I can come in and out that door. 05 is a interior stay or away. It's typically used for motion detectors. When your system is armed in away mode, your motion detector will be armed and will go off instantly. Um, if you're home and your system is armed in the stay mode, your motion detector um, will be bypassed. That way you walk into the kitchen or you walk through your living room, you get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. You're not setting off your system when you walk in front of your motion detector. Um, in stay mode, your motion detectors are the only things that's bypassed. Um, your doors, windows, glass breaks, smoke detectors, all those will be armed and active. Um, so when you're in stay mode, the only thing affected is usually anything that's set as an O5, which typically is just motion detectors. Also on this piece of paper, you'd want to put down the delay time that you would want for your entry and exit, which this case, I wrote my entry time first. I want 30 seconds, and I want 60 seconds when I leave. And then also a code that I plan on using as my master code, so that way I'm not using the default one, two, three, four. If you've got a quick start guide, you can follow along. This first part, what I'm going to do is step one in the quick start guide is going to be setting your date and time. You can simply do that by entering star six, your master code, which by default is one, two, three, four. And then you can use your arrow keys and go through and uh, do different things. I usually just typically just hit one, which is set date and time. All right, time is military time, two digit hour, two digit minute, two digit month, two digit day, two digit year. And just put a random time in there. If you get it wrong, you come back to this section here, you can just hit one. All right. If you're using a keypad, a fixed keypad or an LED keypad that doesn't display all of this, um, we call it go, you doing it blind. Um, everything's the same except you just can't see it. So you, you know, I could take a piece of paper here and program the same system with the keypads that you may have. Uh, the time's in. So the next thing to do is the next step will be um, the inner programming. You will hit star eight five five. Five, five, which by default is the installer code. Um, some people consider it programming code. We're going to intersection 001. This section is where you would list the definitions for all your zones. Um, 001 is zones 1 through 16. Zone 17 starts in section 002 and so forth. The information I enter here comes off my zone definitions off my paper here. 
I will just go straight down the list. I do not enter the zone numbers in this section at all. So my zone one was a definition of zero one, and my zone two was a definition of zero five. I don't have a zone three. I can null it out by zero zeros. Um, these numbers popping up by default um, are in the system already. Um, I can just hit zero zero, clear them out. Um, by default, they're only in there for the eight, first eight zones. Once I enter all the data that I need in that section, I can just go ahead and hit pound. The next section is 202. Okay, this is a toggle option section. Um, if you're following along in the quick start guide, this section is where I can shut off unused zones. Since I'm only using zones 1 and 2, I don't need 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 on. So I'll hit those numbers and then turn them off. I'll hit pound one time and I'm back in the main programming section. Now I will go to section 005 and this section is now asking me for partition. I'm dealing with partition 1 so I'll hit 01 and then the first set of three numbers is your entry time number 1. Um, my entry time I want to be 30 seconds so I'm going to go ahead and keep 030 there to enter it. Um, once it triple beeps, beeps and goes to the next section, you're once again going to see 030. This is for partition 2. I go ahead and just keep them the same, 030. And then the third section is by default 060 which I want to be my exit delay. Um, so I'll just go ahead and re-enter 060 triple beeps and that lets me know that it saved that information. I'm still in section 005 because um, it's wanting to know if I want to do another partition or whatnot. I don't so I'm going to hit pound one time and go back out. The red lock comes on. I'm back in the main programming section. I'm going to go to section 013 And this is where I just automatically tell everybody to hit a 6 and a 1. Um, the 1 coming on is basically telling the system I did not use resistors when I programmed the system. If you use resistors, leave one off. Um, but our quick start guide tells people they don't need to use resistors and that they can hit 1 and it's telling the system that you're using normally closed uh, contacts. In the middle of the night, we're going to enter section 015. In the middle of the night, uh, telephone lines go down, internet may go down. Um, those of you that are using telephone lines or uh, internet modems to, for cell phones or home phones, um, those go down periodically throughout the night. And this number seven, I tell people to go ahead and toggle off. It will not affect your system at all. However, that is a telephone line monitor, and uh, if your system phone lines or whatnot should go down in the middle of the night, that will keep an annoying little beep from popping up. Um, so you can just hit that to turn that off. Um, going through the quick start guide on our website, there is a sample system to use. Um, kind of give you an idea. Um, if you've got wireless devices on how to enroll those wireless devices and uh, whatnot. Um, I'm just looking here to see if I skipped anything. Um, we can set our master code, which I want to set the master code, uh, which that is section 007. And enter data. By default, you see it's 1234. I'm going to enter 1555. That is now my new master code. I am going to hit pound, pound, pound to exit programming. I've got an orange triangle. I want to see what that is. It's probably going to say low battery and something about a siren. Service required. I'm going to hit pound, or star, sorry. It tells me low battery. If I scroll, I'm going to see bell circuit. That's just basically because right now I do not have a siren hooked up to the system and I do not have a backup battery hooked up to the system. Um, if I hook those up, that trouble light will go off. Um, that is it. That's the basic programming of a DSC Power Series system. 
rather it's 1616, 1832, or 1864. Um, what I just done was in this quick start guide. Um, I just went over it real quick. Um, but like I said, the most important section is at 001. You do not enter zone numbers. You just enter the two digit zone definitions. And after each beep, it automatically jumps to the next zone and it's ready for that input. Do not pay attention what the keypad shows when you're going through programming. Different numbers may pop up um, and whatnot. Just make sure you enter your information that you want. That is the basic steps to program your DSC Power Series alarm system. I'm Ryan with alarmsystemstore.com.